our business, there are people at all four corners of the country. We don't get to see each other. And this is where we can compare notes. We can see how each other is doing. We can find out, you know, new techniques for teaching new materials and mostly catching up. This is a great, uh, it's, it's an incredibly fraternal uh, hang for all of us. The family is back together and the hang is, is happening. Everyone is just having a great time uh, attending concerts, going to clinics, and just connecting with old friends, you know, that they may not see but once a year. So it's been a wonderful vibe. Your organization has evolved in, this, in, in the sense that it's gotten richer in terms of content and in terms of who comes to the event. It's obvious this is an opportunity that people in the community have been missing. This opportunity to get together in January and have this gathering. Jenna's doing beautifully. It's definitely growing. I mean, we've obviously, I don't know what the attendance is this year, but it's, I know it's bigger than last year. So that's a healthy sign. A lot of good work's going on. The student participation bigger this year, that's great. From Sonny Rollins and Dr. Billy Taylor, on down. We're always striving to find something new and make it work. Uh, but one of the things I like about jazz education it, and that I've really learned is from, from watching the students grow, watching them practice things that you assign, assign them, watching them develop their appreciation for the music and their understanding of the pioneers of this music. That's what I like. That's what, that's what, that's what gets me. That's what makes me feel good. I, I, I've been working with this organization, International Association of Schools of Jazz, the IASJ. Yeah, I, I'm the chairman of the board. So I'm here to actually sign a collaboration agreement with Jen. We are honoring legends of jazz education. And tonight our winners are the wonderful Ruf Rufus Reed and Dave Liebman. That's reason to celebrate in itself, all they've given to the jazz world, all they've given to the education world. Mr. Liebman, my heart is with your heart, baby, for many, many years. I love you, and I hope that we get the chance to play over and over again. This is what I do, and it's really wonderful to know that people are noticing uh, uh, everybody wants to be noticed for something. So far, this is my first time to come to the Gin Conference or anything of this sort, and it's cool because uh, some of the workshops that I've done, it's crazy. I'm seeing the faculty all around here, and it's just—it's amazing to see everybody. It's my idols are walking down the hall, you know, like John Patitucci circling somewhere around here. Jazz is part of a diet. It's like if you are only eating meat and no vegetables, you're not going to develop the right way. And, and jazz is part of, of our cultural diet. You know, if, if you don't eat right, you just, you don't develop properly. And jazz is part of our American diet. And it has to be introduced to the young kids. And hopefully, you know, even if they don't play it, they can understand it and appreciate it. Okay, where Jen's headed is this. We, we have stabilized our offerings for the next few years. We, we know our locations, 2014 Dallas. 15 San Diego, 16 back to Louisville, and 17 uh, to New Orleans again. We, we're not going to continue to grow the offerings anymore for the next four years. We're going to continue with what we have. Five performance venues, six clinic rooms, the Generations Jazz Festival, and the exhibition. And we want to grow the population that's coming. We want to grow the student population. We want to grow the performance population, the clinician population, but, but you know, offer just a, a good menu of items. I get as much joy as seeing the students succeed 
and the interaction they have with each other and with the pros that I get out of performing myself. It's incredible.